Get up to rock, get up to burn, stand with the pride and burn for your desire. not hastily put together. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mid-Atlantic Modeling League's King of the Ring competition in Blood Bowl 3. This is a side competition that we have uh, during this season. Uh, we are all learning the game. We are all uh, learning the new rules of Blood Bowl, uh, the new interface, uh, <laughs> fighting with the software. <laughs> um, yeah, and tonight we're gonna, uh, I'm being challenged. I challenged the previous night. I am being challenged tonight for the uh, second place spot on this King of the Ring ladder. And tonight it's gonna be Bye Bye Human versus Purebreds, AV2 versus Berserker Tempest. Humans versus Skaven, this time with the BB. 2020 rules. Currently, there are seven teams registered in King of the Ring. The way this works is uh, you register a team, a TV 1000 team. You get added to the bottom of this ladder. You can challenge the person directly above you at any time. If you defeat that person, you raise, uh, you rise one rung up on that ladder. You switch places with that uh, player. Uh, this happens for the entire duration of the regular season. Once we crown a winner of the regular season, once we have a Blood Bowl champion, a season champion, that's it for King of the Ring. Whoever is at the top of this ladder by then will be crowned King of the Ring. This does not, uh, uh, stats are not tracked. Uh, this doesn't count in any capacity uh, for league standings or, or league historical records, um, but it's, it's a way to, to play some Blood Bowl 3, learn the new rules, learn the ropes, learn the software, and uh, try to have some fun. I would love to show you my team, but I am terrified to navigate around this application. <laughs> but first up is my team, it's a human team. I'm gonna have a 10 man roster. I'm gonna be down a player, I have to pick up a journeyman. I do have an injured player who's gonna be at a, a EG of four plus instead of three plus. Uh, I did sack the halfling. Gouda got sacked, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I had to sack him. Uh, I just I couldn't have uh, another strength two player on the on the pitch for this evening. Um, decided I'll pick up the journeyman lineman instead. Le Journeymen's come with uh, loner four plus naturally. Um, yeah, and the Skaven team, I can't look at it because <laughs> if I click on this button here, <laughs> the app stops working. <laughs> so it's going to be full of rats. <laughs> I don't know who's on the team. I don't know what their TV is. Well, I guess it has to be a thousand, but <laughs> I have no idea what's going to go go on. We're going to go into this blind. <laughs> so level three so far, um, the software needs some work. The new rules are great. I think the new UI is great. Um, I do like the bonus timer. Uh, we'll talk about all that as it comes up. Um, I do think it's, uh, I, I think it will be a, a great improvement over BB2 once the numerous bugs get fixed. <laughs> managing leagues, managing competitions is all but impossible. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> it's not even release day yet. So I'll cut him some slack. I'm gonna head over to Discord, see if my opponent's ready to go. And then we'll try to get this game underway. All right, hey, we got a match. Hooray! 
Let's All right, you can see we each have a fan factor too. I'm picking up one journeyman in this roster, or on this uh, uh, on this team. Uh, I am getting I'm getting no petty cash. I'm not going to spend any money out of my register out of my registry out of my my treasury. Coin toss. Uh, we won the toss. We are going to kick the ball. All right, let's set our options here. Perfect. All right. Um, let's see, where gets the Skaven team? Where are all my other defensive formations? Okay, great. So <laughs> there's yet, yet another bug. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's let's set this up. You'll go there. Uh, let's put uh, you here. Is that the journey? Is that what that means? Uh, all right, let's let's set this up with the 50 seconds we have left. Uh, you can go here. You only got 10 plays on the It's I can't I can't use my saved formation for some reason. Oh, because um, your journey. Your journeyman is screwing it all up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's, it's bugged. <laughs> I was trying to do that earlier. Uh, journeyman Lyman, or, no, uh, right over I got the campaign, and nope. <laughs> uh, it's not part of the original formation, it is not gonna happen. All right, we'll go with that. So apparently, SPV <laughs> says can confirm the crash my game earlier today. Oh man, <laughs> yes. we're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with this uh, this 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 L screen as I uh, as I called it, <laughs> which you would see if you can see my formations. We're gonna kick dead center, get this game underway. Nice present for the attacking team. Wow, great kick here. We'll see if he uh, wants to pull somebody underneath. He is. Got the ball. Turn one now for the purebreds. In Blood Bowl 3, you get a 7 minute 30, uh, 7 minute 30 second bank of bonus time. A 2 minute timer like normal. If you run out of time, you can dip into that bonus time. And you can do that. You can spend all 7 minutes 30 seconds on a single turn if you want. But that's, that's your bonus time for the rest of the game. I think that's a great addition to the game. It is not the Chaos Cup Week 6. It is not the Chaos Cup Week 6. It is King of the Ring. Two die block on the left side of the line. Got the knockdown on number seven. Deciding what to do next. In Blood Bowl 3, you must declare your act your activations first. So you can see this little is about this to get little uh, above bar Earth. down here. This is how you can declare your action, uh, your activation before you take it. So if you're gonna blitz, you have to declare the blitz before you move. Two die blitz to start off with. Got the assist here. Gets the knockdown on number 11. That is Iron Mouse. Poor Iron Mouse. It's gonna shift the player over to the left side of the line here. Thrower looking to pass. Good pass. Gets it in the hands of the number six gutter runner. Gutter runners have a MA of nine. In Blood Bowl 3, in the new rules, they can't get MA 10. That's the fastest they can go. Much, much harder to get uh, characteristic upgrades in, in uh, Blood Bowl 2020 as well. All right. 
Failed the dodge here. He's nice. dipping into bonus time. Spends a reroll. Sets up his cage. Turn one for Bye Bye Human. All right, let's go. We have a dirty, we have a dirty player somewhere as well. Um, let's do. Yeah. And let's do. Um, let's do you. Let's do you. That's our dirty player. Man, I wish I... He's not supposed to be on the line. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Let's um, take this block here. Do I want to dodge him away? Um, yeah, I'll stand him on. Did I... Oh... <laughs> yeah, no. Ah! Oh! Quad skulls! The ogre gets knocked oh. down no. by the scheming blitzer. Okay, great. <laughs> Replay didn't work. Awesome. <laughs> Two die block down, number seven gets the knockdown, doesn't break armor. So our goal there was to go in, we take this block, we probably dodge out for the blitz this way. Um, but now our line is in danger of just not being in for the rest of the drive here. So we're just gonna have to play, we're just gonna have to play defense. He's now as free as a fart in a thunderstorm. What we might do at this point, if our line's gonna get left behind, we might give up the sideline. Play a down and surrounded score. by the opposing team. This isn't going to be a This gaming team can score very, very quickly. Obviously, we don't want him to score. If we can stop the score, that would be preferable. Um, but if we're about to have three players left behind. All right. Doesn't overextend here. Um... Why don't we? Why don't we give it one more turn? Let's give it one more turn. Um, we had secure. Uh, we had security here, but we're gonna, we're gonna pull that back just a little bit, and then we might pull these guys. Uh, no, we'll stay there. Um, and now. Uh, I think I'm going to leave him prone because I want him to die. Try this again. Two dive block. Pass the bonehead roll. Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent Boy. of half his strength? They've got the advantage, but there is no the knockdown sure. here. Um, he will go here. And we're actually going to stay quick with him. Sometimes the underdog wins the fight. Not this time. Um. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? Um. I don't think so. I think I want to go here. <sighs> and here, um. I am happy. I am happy with that trade. So we'll leave it like that. Turn three back to the purebreds. Number seven here. This is our dirty player. He gives a plus one to our fouls. Did you know, and I think you're right, that astrogravity 
is made from a compound of sand, gravel, bone dust, and the skulls of fired players' agents. <laughs> Tasty. You can see all the uh, all the the skills in the game are now color coded based on the bucket that they're contained in, whether it's a strength skill, an agility skill, um, a mutation, and so forth. Minute 15 into turn number three. Purebreds are going to advance forward. They're going to take the blitz on number 11. This is Iron Mouse. Two die blitz. They're going to get a push out of this. They put, they advance the ball one space. Anybody got any playing cards? I'm getting bored. Hey, who knows the rules for Nurklings in the closet? Good dodge on the right side of the line here. He's pulling the skating team all the way into the left wide zone. All right, so now, uh, who do we want to pick off? Probably number seven. Probably number seven. He doesn't have the block skill, and he doesn't have the AB of nine plus. Um, so I think what we're going to do is you're going to go here. Um, let's um, make it a one die skill block. I think so. I think so. So you're going to go. We're gonna go here. And you are gonna go here. You're gonna go here. Uh, we're gonna take the blitz here, and so you are gonna go. We're gonna go here. Now you are gonna cut out this one. The one die blitz. Right next one to die team. blitz. We're gonna get the knockdown. He's gonna go here. And say put. Didn't break armor. Um, but now I think we're gonna go. Uh, I think we're gonna go. Uh, safety in numbers. That'll be our turn. Turn four now. Back to the purebreds. Players the assists on the ogre. Currently a one die block on the ogre. Another assist would make that a two die. Two die blitz. A good coach always uses Gets the knockdown. Right He's looking for a right ten plus down. here. Doesn't get it. What's that player doing, Bob? They look to be rolling on the ground in agony, Jim. <laughs> Stands up, so now that's a one die block coming back from this ogre if he wants to take it. An assist by the human team will be required to make a two die block. That's the front. Oh, are you kidding me? Should they be right. stomping on the players? Now that ogre will not be blocking. Two die block gets the knockout on number nine. Now as free as a fart in a thunderstorm. It's gonna save the gutter runner from a free block. Fouls the ogre, gets called off the pitch. Oh look, that player is heading back onto the pitch. Yeah, it's a turnover. One man player yeah. advantage. Oh no! <laughs> Yep. Ah, oh, well done. The Circuit Tempest arguing the call. That worked out for him. Uh, we're going to take these stand up blitz here. So, first, we're going to stand up the ogre. Uh, and then we are going to get stand up blitz. Two die blitz on a gutter runner. It's going to be a dodge push. Uh, 
push them back. Personally, I'd object them. Alright, let's um let's um Move iron mass up here. Here. Move over here. Take this two die. Yeah, let's take this two die block. Oh dear. I hope that player has written it. the will. It's gonna go. Britain. Players can barely speak, Ooh, Jim. I want to surf him. You should know. You've interviewed enough. It's gonna go here. Okay, that but... player is so close to a world of hurt. And I think that'll be our turn. Turn five now. Second quarter begins. Purebreds. <laughs> SP Beaver says, hey, have you tried killing your mats yet? There's only yeah. one way to <laughs> I'm trying. Two die blocking the ogre. He's gonna get a knockdown. So push this ogre out of the way. <laughs> Seems a little doesn't stubborn, break armor. Needs a 10 plus on that ogre. It's what used to be known as AB9. It's now known as AB10 plus. Any number you see on the characteristic that has a plus next to it is called a uh, a um, a target number. Looks like you might be trying to shift to the right here. If he shifts to the right, he'll probably leave these marks. Two die blitz on the number four catcher. Didn't really need the assist. Well, did he take it with a drain? He didn't. Gonna be a dodge push unless he spends the reroll. Now has a hole right here. Also has the right sideline. This circle of happy serenity. Takes a mark on number ten. Happy clappies jump. I wouldn't like to use the word. It's gonna have to move the scutter on number five over here to avoid the surf on the blitzer. Seconds to go for the purebreds. And we're going to try to secure the right wide zone here, the, uh, the right side of the pitch. Making lots of marks here. He's going to force this human team to make lots of dodges. This number 10 is basically stuck at this point. Not a good. A good mark by a gutter runner. How do I look in HD? Good uh, dodge. Three, four good dodges. Two rushes. It's all the way to the end zone. Well done. I don't know what that last one was, but okay. Well done. It's all the way to the end zone with that move. Um, I can't really get to him unless it's a one die, I think. Um, well, we can do that. So let's um, let's get you here. Uh, let's take the two die, see where it ends up. Boy, if I do that and push you in the end zone, I'd be very angry. Yeah. Right, we're gonna go here. No Good dodge. Could I block? Gonna have to uh, spin the reroll here. Final reroll for the half. It's only gonna be a push. Oh no. What the hell? So okay. Now we will. Um, Take this block here. Take this block here. A snotling baked in a pot. Could I have block. more chance than this poor kid? Need a push. Actually, I'm getting hungry. Where's the nearest pie shop? Jim? Um, 
That's not good. Now his body can move freely. Let's stand up. Injury on these rats. Now, uh, let's put you there. I should Take probably say something here, meaningful to all our cabal vision uh, viewers. You can go here. All I can think of is oh, splat. Yeah. That player better get up. Nothing good comes from spending any time on the ground in this game. There. Right, you can go here. Um, he didn't see this one that I bought. Oh. Him, did he? That's what I get. Yeah, that's what you get. Did the Italian player just slip over? Still no armor. That'd be a turnover. And you can see this move. You can see just how. Just how nimble these uh, Skaven Gutter Runners are there. Three dodges, got the uh, two rushes there to get to the end zone. Well done by Berserker Tempest. One positive dodge to score at the moment. He has uh, his two rerolls on deck. He's looking to see what his options are here. Currently a one-man player advantage for Bye Bye Human. Have you tried that Crocsiade yet, Bob? A sports drink made by the Skaven of Clan Pestilence? No thanks. Just gonna score on the dodge. Well done. One to zero. I think it's a touchdown. Now the hard part begins. Three turns left for Bye Bye Human to try to get on the board here. They're going to be on offense in the second half of this game. I guess my offensive formations are going to be messed up as well. You know, shotgun works. Let's, um, let's, let's do that, except I think, I think what I'm going to do is something more akin to this. We'll do that. Um, I think we'll be okay. Okay, with this. It doesn't have a kicker. It's got one on the line here. Um, and that. That's our dirty player. We can do that. You can go here. Um, let's go ahead and put you in there. And we'll do, we'll do that. Alright, here's the kick. Elm Green says, I like the top dish logo of the center of the pitch. As we watch this kickoff, we have to ask. Did you ask? An extra turn was gained. Wow. All right. Just gained a turn. Yay. <laughs> uh, I like the top dish logo in the center of the pitch. Was BB2 like that and I just did not notice? No, it was not like that. Um, all right. We're up against the Skaven team. Look how fast these gutter runners can get, right? So we really want to make sure we have this ball secure. Uh, before we do anything. So let's put you here. Now we'll take our... Uh, let's put you... Here. Let's go ahead and take these blocks. 
Uh, let's take. Let's take this one. Two die block. We'll get uh, we'll get knocked down. You can go. Um, you can go here. And we will go. Alright, um, let's go ahead and do. Okay, cut it over here. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and take this bliss. Two die blitz on the gutter runner. A snotling baked in a pie. Stands more go here. Either a pal or a death. <laughs> follow up. Poor farmer got a KO. Um, let's go down here. They may be fast, but once you grab these bozos, two die block on the line. Knock down. Follow up. On the floor again. This team must like worms or something. Will go, um, this guy will go. This guy will go here. Oh, yeah, block on the line. Got through the bonehead. Here. Written. Players can barely speak, Jim. Let alone write. Here's your time. I got a stun. It's time to pick this ball up. To the end of our turn. Turn six for the purebreds now. That gutter runner, or I'm sorry, the thrower. Number eleven thrower is going to mark the number six blitzer. That's Neo. Neo Okami. That's a good choice for this blitz. Two die blitz is going to get the knockdown on the blitzer. We'll follow up for sure here. That player's a little short. Oh no, mine is dead. He's on the ground. Using a gutter runner to mark the ball carrier. Two marks on ball carrier is the loner because I don't know what these icons mean. <laughs> Good dodge there by number four gutter runner. Turn six. Um, why not? We're not go there. I think that'll be our play. Um, we are going to put two die blitz here. Just do it. Two die blitz. We're gonna push. That's here. That was a put. Two die block. Uh, we're gonna push. We'll go here. What? That'll help a player move without risk. She stand up. Um, oh. Oh, oh, oh. We gotta, um, we gotta declare this first. We'll do that. There's the pass. They have the pass. Fail. Why is that a failed pass? Oh, because it's still the first half. It's still the first half. Yeah, so that shouldn't be in the hands of the journeyman at all. That journeyman should have been on the line. But uh, it's still the first half, so I didn't have rerolls there to complete the pass. Come on, guys. To 
Let's Kudai go. Black gets a double pal here against uh, against Mio. The Blitzer doesn't break on. I don't think I mind it, I just need to remember to do it. <laughs> Two-Dive Black gets a pal here. Oh, pal and Iron Mouse doesn't break armor. I just have to get used to where, like, every... A, I gotta learn these skill icons, and B, I gotta get used to where everything is on the screen. Two-Dive Black's gonna need a push here. Blitz still on the table. Lots of dodges. Failed the uh, failed to pick up. Looks like he didn't spend the reroll. Can't really tell. It's going to be a turnover. So we're going to get an opportunity here. Let's take it. Uh, let's take it. Where's our thrower? There it is. We don't really need it though. Let's. Uh, Let's go here. Two die blitz. I should probably say something oh. meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. Splat. <laughs> What's the injury? Badly hurt? Nope. He's gonna say badly hurt. Bad, bad trade. Ouch. Oops, excuse oh. my bad manners, but I gotta okay. break in here. Well, at least they're not dead. Three man player advantage now for uh, bye bye humans, but they, they're, they really want to score here in the first half so they can try to win two to one. The Reds with one reroll remaining in this half. Two die blitz is gonna get a push on number seven. Push number seven away from the ball here. Follows up to get the mark on number ten as well. Well done. Any problems you may have are surely coincidental. Probably see another dodge here. Company that you owe a great deal of bad gambling debts to. Good ball pickup. Trying to pass here. He's gonna spend the final reroll. He's looking for a five plus. And that's how you play blood. Trying to score. That long bomb was amazing. Lady Kirami, thank you for the follow so much. I, I appreciate the it. That will be an upset. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I thought he failed the pass. What just happened? Oh, did he fail the pass? And uh, I don't know what's going on. This <laughs> one. Failure was not oh, was I supposed to do something? Oh, I can't believe I literally have no idea what happened there. I have no idea what happened there. Uh well, it's gonna have to be here for the long pass. Um Oh no. Lady Carry Me, thank you very, very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Um I think it's gonna have to be the I think the game broke. If I can't pick any of my players to move on. All right, final turn of the game. Let's just see what happens here. Pass made. Good pass. Did he really fail the three plus catch? How dare you, catcher? Why are you here? <laughs> That's gonna be in the first half. Yeah, like when I go past the uh, center of the square on the right hand 
inside. Nope. So it sounds did, like... Did it fail? Nope, I am stuck on turn eight. Yep. So, oh. and it's stuck on one twenty one. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll we'll we'll, we'll find out. We'll find sure. Out. Here we go. So uh, I was just talking about the game. Come back in. <laughs> My opponent conceded. No, he didn't. <laughs> I broke the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So uh, um, yeah, have I mentioned that Blood Bowl Three is uh, better if I completed it? Really, uh, really needs some work. <laughs> so we're gonna try this again. No, we're gonna we're gonna restart this, cause. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. So, uh, you can hear Berserker Tempest is there. Yeah, <laughs> the Ranger says Berserker Tempest broke the game. Ava wins. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately not. <laughs> so, uh, 905. I am gonna. I am. All the. Yes, you win. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So we. So we, we uh, we were just talking like that. That game. That game obviously is not going to count up the ladder, but I can't do anything about the TV right, difference. Start a lower TV or just make a whole new team. Same everything. It again. No. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. Like, I mean, we can still play this one. I mean, maybe you advance, but if you want, you can always, at any time, you can roll a new team. You just start at the bottom of the ladder. Good evening from Cabal Vision HD. All right, we've got four fan factor versus three on this for real version of the game, I guess. What? I'm back at 955. Lovely. Lovely. Are you okay. SB versus new rule in BB2020. You press the wrong button, you lose. <laughs> it's, it's true. Purebreds has won the toss. They'll probably go on defense here. Beautiful. Yeah, he's going to go. Uh, he's going to set up on defense. He wants to set up on defense as a frail team because uh, he's going to be guaranteed 11 players on the pitch. No, that's the lineman. My line. So he has a journeyman no. after, after the okay. first game. <laughs> yeah, so Blood Bowl 3 has some issues. <laughs> it's got some issues. <laughs> Buy Blood Bowl 3. It looks good. <laughs> Buy, buy, buy Blood Bowl 3 if you if you don't actually want to play the game. It's great. It's awesome. <laughs> you are sitting in a conundrum of confusion, staring at nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, it, it's got some bugs. It hasn't even been released yet, to be fair. it's uh, It releases uh, tomorrow. Uh, but let's uh, let's put you over here. Put you over here. Uh, let's actually put you over here. I think this is what we're gonna do. We'll spend this blitz here, unless he's giving me a gutter runner, which he's not. He's not giving me a gutter runner. So this will uh, this will be what we do. This will be what we do. So it did count last game, but also didn't. 
All right, so this is the new prayers to Nuffle table. Uh, this was a, this is a kickoff event. Knuckle Dusters, one of my players without the learner trait available for this drive gains Mighty Blow plus one. Yeah, but uh, that's going to be you. So that's the uh, the new prayers to Nuffle table. That's a D16. There are uh, there are uh, 16 different prayers to Nuffle on the table. Uh, he does have a Skaven team, so let's pull you in. Wind up thir thirteen thirteenerd. Uh, says uh, I was hyped for this game, but swap the hype I had for it for uh, <laughs> the IRL game. Building my first team tonight. Uh, the new rules are great. Uh, the new um, uh, the new. Uh, uh, the new UI is great. The game looks really good, but uh, it's not very stable yet. The BB2020 rules are... Oh, my goodness. The BB2020 rules are... Boy, oh, boy. This game is not going to let us come into it. <laughs> <laughs> Quad skulls. Windup says, why did you pick That's humans? Right, uh, I like humans. Uh, humans are my favorite team in Blood Bowl. Uh, I like the fact that they are a jack of all oh trades, God. masters of none. All right. I think in the LRB6, they were hampered by the fact that the specialist teams, as they grew in TV, just out-specialized the, the genericism of humans. Um, we're going to see if that's changed in BB2020. I haven't played a whole lot of BB2020. Uh, Blood Bowl 3 is going to be my first really getting my hands dirty with it, so uh, we'll see if they're any better. Two die blitz over on the uh, in the left wide zone. It's gonna get the knockdown on number nine. This is Zentria, the human lineman. Get up or get off the field. Why does this? Oh, I'm still on the replay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still on the replay. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I'm looking for any little graphical anomaly. <laughs> SP Beaver says, didn't you start with quad skulls last game as well? I got quad skulls on something. Windup says, yeah, I wanted this to practice the new rules. I did do a sevens league with Bard Pro Elves team last summer, but this will be my first time in elevens. I've never played sevens. We have a number of uh, coaches. Uh, I think El Nuberino is actually in the chat. He's he's played, uh, he's played a bunch of sevens. I imagine they're going to add a sevens mode at some point. Time's up. Let's do this. Leave Roy Jenkins. Lee Roy Jenkins. Wow. Good. <laughs> hmm? Wow! That's that new jump skill we talked about. Uh, all players can jump over prone players now. You jump into one of the spaces, uh, one of the spaces behind the player. Good jump, good catch, or good ball pickup by the gutter runner here. Oh! It looks like well it's done. Over the top jump. Well done by Berserker Tempest here. And now he is on offense. On the turn, he's on defense. This is why I didn't do a good job of, this is why you really want to protect that ball against a, a fast team like Skaven. Because one slip up and they'll get the ball right back from you. So that's going to be a one die block currently. We got to make that a two die. Um, we got to make that a two die. Who needs leap when you have jump over? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and of course he marked everybody in the backfield. This is a or really at the line of scrimmage. Good marks. Good marks by Tempest. Um, I am so, I'm getting like superstitious. Like I'm so nervous about these dice that I just want to take this action first. Probably not my best best idea, but I think I'm going to do it. Um, Oh, I'm nervous. I mean, I've got a mighty blow a gutter runner, right? I've got to do that. Two dice. Ah, we got the push. We got the push. Really needed the knockdown. Um, that's all right. Maybe he can just score early and we can uh, we try to fix this. If I left him here, I could have got the two die. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if I left him here, I could have got the three die on this gutter runner. Um, but we'll take the two die instead. Uh, I 
it's time to do this now. Two dive block. It's gonna be another dodge push. He's gonna go here. Um, and we will survive. All right. Two dive block at the line. We failed. Wow. Our boneheaded roll. That's okay. Um. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> They're all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Windup says, uh, Hank Ranger says, Are you taking Ogre for your starting team? Windup says, I haven't decided, but I bought the core set, so I have a leftover Ogre and may throw him on. Not Definitely taking two blisters, at least throw him a catcher. I saw a neat list that you bring 13 people, no Ogre, so you can keep your catchers for receiving halves only. And there's the score. Well done. One to zero. Pure beds with the defensive. All right. Let's uh, let's try this again. Here's the kick. SP Beaver says, is it re-rolling after you select to keep the result? I'm not sure what you're asking. Oh boy. What? Oh, we got five on this blitz. Uh, this has been changed from the LRB6 as well. So instead of all your non-marked players getting to move on a blitz, you roll a D3 plus three. That's how many players you get to move on a blitz. Or are we going to lose this game four to zero? <laughs> <laughs> Takes a mark on number three. That's the catcher error on the right side of the pitch. Here's my secret tech. Here's my secret tech for everybody that wants to play Blood Bowl 3. You can't lose if the game crashes. <laughs> Takes the rush, formerly called a GFI, to get the block, or to get the mark on the number four catcher over the right wide zone. Now he's going to get the two die blitz. It's going to be a dodge push here on uh, Corone. Yeah. Oh, he got dodge. Down. Yeah, both catchers do. It's the uh, it's the yellow squiggly line. No, I didn't realize what block. I just didn't realize he's T posing. He's T-posing on your screen? Not T-posing necessarily, just how he's standing. Oh, I see. More T-posing. Three dodges, those are, and two rushes to get back on this ball. <laughs> hey, hey, Nuffle provides finally. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's fix this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Never mind, Nuffle does not Nuffle does not provide. Nuffle <laughs> Nuffle has a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh let's put you let's put you here. Uh let's see. One, two. You know what? I'm just gonna go for the cage. I'm gonna go to the cage over here, and if this blitz doesn't work, well, that's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Wind up ass. How did the rat get down there already? He had the uh, he got a blitz on the kickoff event. Uh, this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, and GFI. Um, nope. We'll do this instead. Uh, Hank Ranger said, "Did you lose your knuckle dusters after the TD?" Yeah, knuckle dusters are for uh, for a drive. Uh, we're gonna have to take this dodge. Oh my goodness. Fail the dodge on <laughs> Snake Eyes. I've seen some bad Blood Bowl matches. In Two to zero is about to be the score. <laughs> the losing team really needs to 
That one should not have happened, but okay. 2 0! Oh, did I get my gutter back? No. Nah, no, he's, he's still safe. Bye bye, human. <laughs> bye bye, humans. Has <laughs> been on offense each time and has lost the score each time. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Here's the kick. Brilliant coaching. Who's getting what? Uh, I'm getting nothing. <laughs> it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be um, uh, purebreds. I, I wish the the team name would show up for the inactive team. It's gonna be purebreds picking up an SVP. This person is getting this on the screen. Okay, let me scroll through the bibliography. All right, let's go here. Let's go here. Really, what I should be doing is I should be protecting the pickup. Uh, but uh, I haven't learned my lesson, and at this point, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> the uh, the uh, this doesn't count for the season. Let's go. Let's let's make it exciting. Let's go. Uh, let's do. Let's see you here. Did I block? I'm gonna push. You can go here. Um, let's see if Push back. Not over. Uh, you are gonna come down here. You are gonna come down here. <laughs> SBB for <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me finish my turn. <laughs> no. Uh, Loner makes me very scared of this roll, but I'm going to do it anyway. Did I block? It's the pal. Um, we'll push you here. And then follow up. Break armor. Oh, it's a death! He's got an oppo, I believe. He does not have an oppo. Well, life goes on. Except for him. All right. We killed a, killed a rat. I was like, didn't I have like five rats in the in the KO box? No, that was the that was the first game. They must have glue on pick up here. We're getting the cage. Take this two die block here. Is the assist gonna be enough to come out on top? Push. Um, let's push him towards the ogre and fine. That'll help a player move without risk. Turn four for the purebreds. SP Beaver, thank you so much for the gift sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Wind up says death in the league. Uh, yeah, so our our regular season is in Blood Bowl 2. That's going on concurrently. Um, but yeah, death is absolutely a thing that can happen, in, at least in this league. <laughs> <laughs> A pro human coach? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Dude, I'm Locke's gonna get the knockdown on number nine here. I want it warm. Warm. He's gonna follow up to take a mark on the thrower. Fauna herself. So I think, generally speaking, against a Skaven team, humans want to play a little more bashy. Um, and then against, like, say, an Orc team, they want to play a little more, a little more uh, agility-based, right? Like, I could have stand, stood to keep these players back a little bit, but I'm so far behind that it's like, well, I, I just, I gotta get TDs, so let's go. <laughs> Wind up says, you're clearly so good that Nuffle themselves has decided to challenge you. <laughs> Life is sacred for the bits, I appreciate it. <laughs> Gonna take a mark on this cage. As you do. Turn five. Let's go. Uh, let's go. 
Stand you up. He's got, uh, he's got a gutter runner in scoring position. Did he leave me any gutters? I can't imagine he left me any gutters. Um, so we can do this one die here. We can do this two die here. Let's go ahead and do that. Those teeth, Jim. But pow, pick up most of them off the we're going to go um, here. And um, we are going to follow this case. There's a way with the face. All right. Better watch out. They're murderous little beasts. Oh, I gotta, I gotta declare the activation first in Blood Bowl 3. Short pass, I could make it a quick pass on a GFI. Um, let's do it. Two GFIs! Nah, we're gonna do it from here, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I should have moved my players first, but I'm so nervous about scoring. Uh, we need a three. Let's use the pass the skill. Ball in flight is a wonderful Good catch. All right. Uh, do we just score? Even better when it's cozy yeah, we just in the hands of a catcher. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, rushes. They're not called GFIs. <laughs> All right. Well, that's... Uh... Oh, that's right. My formations... Don't... This is another thing. You can set up your formations of Blood Bowl 3. But if you don't have the exact players that you put on that formation, you don't actually get to set it up. All right, let's put, let's put you here. Put you there. Put you there. We'll put you here. We'll put you here. All right, I think that's what we're going to do. And now the purebreds are going to set up on offense. Clive, he says, who was actually on offense at the beginning of this half? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I was for all three drives. <laughs> Here's the kickoff. We're going to do a uh, dead center. Nice and non-risky. Is that another blitz? Is that another five blitz? Oh, my goodness. Nuffle, why? Nuffle, please. <laughs> Nuffle, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> oh, it's my blitz! It's my blitz! Oh, oh, I'm not even paying attention! <laughs> I was so, I was so angry! <laughs> I was like, Nuffle, you, you, you're, you're rude! <laughs> uh, let's, um, let's take, whoops, uh, let's take, let's take this blitz here. Um, and we want to do it with somebody with skill. Problem is, if we give up a sideline, um, he's just going to use it. He's just going to use it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. Oh, okay. Oh, the show. Two die block. We'll use dodge. We'll do a dodge push here. Um, we'll push him. It doesn't really matter, but we'll push him here. We're going to stay put. And then we're going to go here. Um, the problem is, this kind of puts us out of position. Uh, really, he should go here. Ah! <laughs> Alright, there we go. And then he'll go here. And that'll be our turn. Ah! Oh, oh boy. <laughs> turn five for the purebreds. Turn five again for the purebreds. Two die block. 
on the line. They're going to get a uh, both down the assault. That's going to break armor. Get the stun out of it. Anything less than an eight is a stun normally. Two die block on the left side of the line gets a pal. Breaks armor again. Seven's going to be another stun. <laughs> Clivius, yeah, I wasn't paying attention, chat. I'm sorry. Clivius is like, Blitz is good for you! <laughs> SP Beaver says, you're on defense! <laughs> 45 seconds left for the purebreds now. Deep kicking. Uh... They have four turns to score, which is plenty for a Skaven team. Remember, the Scudder Runners have an MA of nine. This is a big and, game, Bob. And they're going to be on offense in the second half Holden as well. Uh, indifferent, Jim. Ask me. Hmm? Here's a two-plus pickup. Yes, they picked up. I'm sorry, three-plus pickup. Uh, AG rolls work a little differently in DB2020 than they did in the LRB6. You don't get the plus one for the freebie um, as, you, as you used to. Good pass. It's going to get some SPP on number 11. He's going to hand off to number four. Spends the reroll. Now the number four gutter runner is in control of the ball. One dodge. Get down pitch. Failed the GFI. He's going to spend a reroll. He is going to spend a reroll. Second gutter runner is going to get down pitch. Takes a mark on the number four catcher. There's one more player left to action here. Five gold pieces says he gets kicked in the face first. Fail the dodge. He's gonna be That's fine. Didn't break armor, and now, well, we gotta do it, right? We gotta do it. Um, can we do better? So if we go here, we'll pick up the ball. Let's say. Up the ball with you, so you don't have to come in here. So you are going to come in here, let's say. And then, um, I think you are going to go down pitch. SP Beaver asks, what's the previous high score for a game we had? Four to zero is the highest scoring game we've had. Um, if you can come, let's see. You can come here. I really need to finish that sentence. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be seven, so you're not moving. Uh, you'll go here. Go here. Mm -hmm. Go here. Oh, okay. Go okay. here. And blitz. Two die blitz. Still have a reroll. Got double pals out of it. Good dodge to see if we get to pick up. Boy. <laughs> Spent our final reroll here. Alright, we've got the ball. And now you have a one die. Let's not take that. You can tie up those three players. Turn six for the purebreds now. Boy, right now, <laughs> I have, like, work chat, like, slack going off constantly in my ear. <laughs> Even though I'm not working. <laughs> Dude, I block here on the line. 
gets the knockdown thanks to the block skill. Well done. Had to pull on another player to get that assist to make that a two-die block. But that's going to free up number two and number ten. Sport and would rather play with action figures instead. This has nothing to do with him bad mouthing me in that last issue, of course. Blitz on the front right corner of the case. Two die blitz. Gets a push. See if he follows up to mark the ball carrier. He does not. He says, no thank you. Get away from me, sir. Aspie Beaver says, wait, blitz is not your job? I thought you were a professional. I'm not a professional in anything. <laughs> I guess technically I am. If I get paid for a thing, then sure. <laughs> Two GFIs. Man, I'm going to say GFI forever, right? Two rushes to mark the number three catcher. Good dodge by the number six gutter runner. Thirty seconds to go. Tried to foul the ogre. Didn't stand up. Number four gutter runner. Don't believe he was prone. So let's go. Um, I'll just stand up. It's this way. So let's go. Let's go here. Uh, no, let's go here. Let's go here. Can I get the ball in the hands of my thrower? Probably not yet. Probably not yet. Do that. Here. Let's look over here. Probably don't blitz down this way. Instead, we're gonna pay attention to the pitch and see who's prone. <laughs> That's what we'll do. <laughs> and then we'll uh let's um let's put you Put you. Let's take this blitz first. Two die blitz on the gutter runner. They've got the advantage. Two die blitz. Sure. It's gonna have to be a push. Uh, we're gonna push you here, and we are gonna follow up. And then I think we wanna go here. I think uh, we're going into bonus time here. Do we want to take the foul on the gutter runner or do we want to reposition him a little bit? I think, um, I think you want to reposition I think we want to go here. Um, the bigger they are, the thicker they tend figure to that be. Out happen. Obviously. Um, we'll pull a player back to get the. Uh, he's already got the two die. Um, Dodging out. Um, put him here. And that'll be the turn. Turn seven now for the purebreds. All they have to do is knock down that catcher. And bye bye human cannot score this half. A wind up says kill the gutter. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have. I had an opportunity to foul a gutter runner. Really should have taken it. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> really, I should have stood up my players here on the line first, and I didn't do that. This is a big game, that's, Bob. That's a, that's How do you error. feel about being at such an important match? Uh, takes a mark on the front left corner of the cage. Ask me again when there's more blood on the field. Yeah. Takes a mark on the back right corner of the cage. Comes the blitz. Two die blitz on number seven. There's only one word to say about this. It's the knockdown. Not, not going to be able to follow up here. It still has movement left with the blitzer. <laughs> Crucially, can't end in this space due to the prone player. Both down result means you don't uh, you don't get pushed back on the result, even uh, 
even if a player with blocks that did it. SP Beaver says, you really need to win this. I don't want to be challenged by rats. Uh, I mean, I'll try. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> Yeah, the dodge. Needs a three plus here. Fed dodge. Spring in their step. It's time, perhaps. And that's going to be a turnover. Final turn of the half for Bye Bye Human. Uh, up. We only have one option. So let's go ahead and uh, take this blitz. The Did I blitz? Enough to come out on top. He's going to go here. And follow up. Oh. A stun. The stun's not going to matter. Um, so this is not going to get us out of uh, out of intercept range, but still the best we can do. Do I want to hand off, though, to the thrower is the question. Um, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Um, we're going to stand up the ogre. Um, if I had a reroll, I'd dodge him out to mark here, but I'm not going to do that. So let's uh, let's try passing passing with the catcher, shall we? We're going to do some cross training. We're going to do some cross training. Here we go. Well, the pass is going to have an opportunity here to interfere with the ball. Didn't work out. Ball's going to scatter off the pitch. It's going to go right into the end zone. That's going to be a turnover. Nobody scored. Well, that's not true. He could, he could conceivably score here. We'll see if he can pull it off. Skaven can absolutely do it. He has one turn here. He's got two dodges to make by the thrower currently. And the says choose pass before me. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I think I've, uh, I think, uh, I think I got this bottom bar down. SP Beaver says you would have to dodge out your thrower. Yeah, if I had a reroll, that would have been a no-brainer, but I didn't have a reroll, so he's going to stay there. And I really need to learn these icons. <laughs> like, they're all new. <laughs> when are they going to replace it? I don't know, Bob, and I know what you're doing. You just want me to throw... It would have been pretty dope if I tied the game up, though. <laughs> Failed the dodge, and that's going to be the end of the half. Second half of the game now. The purebreds are going to be on offense, and uh, they're in the lead 2-1. to one. Uh, There's no real reason for them to stall, either. If they score, they're up 3-1. to one. It puts them in a better position. Uh, so I don't think the game plan cha uh, changes too much here. I think we're going to go with... Uh, this formation, this is what we want. Let's make sure everybody's in the right spot. Four blitzers. Who are you? Four SPP versus zero. Let's swap you out. And we'll be good. Wind up says this is a knockout tournament. This is a, this is like, um, I'm going to say ladder, but not ladder in the way that BB3 defines a ladder. It's a, Think of like a Mortal Kombat ladder. Uh, here, I'll show you. Uh, so, so teams get sorted, and then you can always challenge the person right above you. And if you win, you swap places with them. This is going on. This this competition is a side competition. It's going on during our regular season, and uh, whoever's at the top of the ladder at the end of regular season will be a king of the ring. And this is just a, this is just a friendly competition. It doesn't count for season stats or, or league stats or anything it's just an opportunity for oh, an officious oh, ref winning team again all right <laughs> why all right. Piss off the ref? yeah for real <laughs> number three gutter runner got very angry at the referee and uh the ref uh, decided to punch him in the nose <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, it's just a way for us to learn uh, learn the new rules of Blood Bowl. We've been playing our our league is uh, based on the Living Rules version six. It's to learn the new rules of BB twenty twenty. It's to learn the new interface of BB three and then all the idiosyncrasies of the software. 
Wind up says it's cool that you have a full league and such. New work has one. I'm joining it tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Well, good luck. It's always, uh, it's always good for the football. The way our league is set up is you can enter it midway. So if you want to join us for our next competition, the Spike Magazine Trophy, it'll start in probably three, three or four weeks. Um, and uh, the league rules are set up in such a way that if uh, if uh, SPB, re I, I don't think the Discord bot for that. No, it's uh, I think it's web. You want uh, exclamation web. Um, but uh, yeah, it's set up in such a way that that if you join midway through the competition, you still have a very good chance of making it to the championship. So feel free to check it out. Come play with us. Uh, we have a lot of veteran coaches and a lot of new coaches, and it's. Uh, the, the purpose of the league is to share Blood Bowl with everyone and to, to be welcoming to new coaches who might be a little intimidated by some of these some of these players that have been playing for decades. Purebreds are going to cage up on their own four-yard line here to start the half. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. He flacked down my line. Well done. Declares a blitz. It's the two die block on the number 10 lineman. The sheep himself. That's a May. Gets the knockdown. Doesn't ground. follow up. The coach will be spitting teeth about this. Use the blitz, blitz action to move that player into position. To try to protect the ball carrier. Turn nine now for Bye Bye Human. Um, I mean, I gotta go after the gutter, right? I gotta go after the gutter. Boy, that's unfortunate. And, uh, he's standing there drooling. Ogre fails the uh, ogre fails the really stupid roll. He's just gonna stay prone on the ground. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Um, you can stand. You can stand. You can stand up. Um, if you go, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fine. We've got one. He's coming to help his buddy. That's good. And now we're gonna blitz, blitz the gutter runner. Two die blitz on the gutter. That's a good choice for this play. Got a pal. He's gonna go here. Uh, we're gonna stay put. Go farmer. Got a stun out of it. We'll go right back to where we were. Uh, uh, we can't, we can't, we can't actually. Um, Ah, um, we're gonna, we're gonna rush here. If he wants a sideline, if he's gonna take the sideline, we should probably step back. Um, Let's go with that. By that human with five minutes, 52 seconds left in bonus time. Purebred's now up on turn 10. I think the says they're experienced in newer coaches and Ava announces a good portion of the league games on Twitch. Yeah, uh, so part, part of, uh, when we started this league, uh, we came up with uh, some goals, one of which was to be friendly to new players. And then from those goals, we came up with how, how do we uh, how do we make those actionable, right? We wanted it to be uh, friendly to new players and, uh, and to just want to share the game. Blood Bowl's been around for a long time. You, um, you know, I play a lot Isn't of tabletop games and you, uh, for a long time. It was just a kind of a few people yeah. that played. Um, even though it's been constantly played for that decades. So we said, well, you know, let's make sure we have rules in place and nobody's a jerk. Um, let's make sure we have rules in place where, you know, 
if life gets in the way, people aren't eliminated from the competition. Um, and, and let's make it fun, right? Let's, let's make it hype. Let's, uh, let's stream them and put a little production into it and try to have fun with it. So that's what we try to do here. Going right down center pitch, thanks to that uh, that really stupid ogre. <laughs> he's just uh, just he's like, what's going on, guys? Am I in the middle of a blood bowl game? Wind up says that's great. I get the, I get that vibe here, light and nice, despite the horrible die. Shh, shh, don't say that. Nuffle might hear you. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's um probably take this block into a blitz. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI blitz here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI blitz here. So let's take it this way. Uh let's put you here. Oh my goodness. Kason, you're so dumb. <laughs> you're the dumbest going? ogre. No. I I'm sorry, you're not really stupid. You're boneheaded. My apologies. My apologies. <laughs> uh, you'll go here. Uh, you'll go here. I think you're going to go here. Um, so these are all one dies. That's a dodge to make it a two die. Um, let's, where do we want you to go? <laughs> all right, let's take this two die block here. Two die block. Look at the push. It's not really what we wanted. Um, Go this way, maybe two dodges versus this way. Hey, that, that play looked almost competent. Did I really just cut myself off? Boy. Boy, what a dummy. What a dumb dumb. What a dumb dumb. What a, <laughs> what a dumb dumb. What a dumb dumb. Turn 11 for the purebreds. We'll get the score here. It'll be 3 to 1. Well done. <laughs> Wind-up says, it's a gentleman ogre. He's waiting on the ground to get back up. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to try to score quickly again here. Why not? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> One man player advantage currently for bye-bye uh, human. Bye-bye human. Hank the Ranger says, are the purebreds named after different types of bread? Uh, looks like it. Well done. Well done. I don't know why he's Chibata Hemophilia, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> All right, we're on offense. Let's, uh, let's do the same thing. All right, here's the kick. We're at the halfway point of the day. If the losers are going to make Cheering it, fans, who's going to get it? Now. Treacherous trapdoors! The trapdoors are on the pitch! <laughs> All right, if you're pushed into one of these two trapdoors here, you roll a d6 on a one, it is as if you've been surfed. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's, um, move you here. Oh, no, actually, I wanted to blitz with you. That's all right. We'll make it a two-die blitz. That's fine. Yeah, blitz. 
let's, um, let's move you in. Let's move you here. <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> Alright, we'll do this. Um, we'll do this. Could I blitz in the right wide zone? Let me dodge push. Fine. Push him. He's gonna use the dodge skill. Push him here. Just a clip. And uh, then we'll take. Um, let's take it this way. Could I block on the line? Get a pal. You can go here. This my pal. With fists like with armor, following up, hoping to get on knocked out. A stun out of it on a roll of seven. Eight to nine would be a KO. Um, do we want to do that? This puts my. Oh, this puts everything at risk if I do that. I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to go for a pickup before rolling that. Uh, that. that oaf. Well done. Good pick up. In the cage. Two die blocks. Gonna get the knockdown here. We'll go, um. Go here. I like that. If I had a gold crown for every player yeah, I see lying on the field during my up. career, well, I could start Turn my 12 own back to the gearbreads. You only need a million gold, right? Wind up says, I'm either making a team based on my favorite book series, book series First Law, or painting them all like Common Rider. I love the Rider series. I like uh, Tokusatsu a lot, <laughs> so I watch I watch a lot of Super Sentai and stuff. Uh, I am watching the current Rider show, too. Wind up says, I like the purple on your team. Thanks! That's uh, either my, my high school football team colors. <laughs> Two die blitz on the cage. Or, I'm sorry, 2 die blitz on the number 7 human. This is the injured human. Her AG is a 4 plus. Gets the knockdown, takes a mark on the cage. Oh, that's cool, Wanda. That sounds great. A great game so far. I'm terrible at painting. <laughs> I'm so bad at painting. But it'll pick up any second now, I promise. Two marks on this cage. <laughs> Wind-up says, oh, I've put off painting for a year. <laughs> Moves a gutter. Fused focaccia down to the uh, eight-yard line over the right wide zone. Yeah, so we saw that. Uh, I can't remember if this game or the earlier game that bugged out, but uh, when you make a jump... Well, I'll explain it after my turn. But generally speaking, when you make a jump in this game, all players can jump now. Uh, when you make a jump, it's one space for the space you're jumping over and then another space, just like you were moving like normal, except um, uh, when you make the jump, let's do it this way. Let's start with the blitz. Could I blitz? The defender stumbles. We'll go here. I'll follow up. Um, uh, when you make the jump, uh, it's minus the number of marks Whatever the greater number of marks is from the space you're starting in or the space you're ending in. So, uh, if you started with two marks, and um, I mean, I think I'm going to dodge to score. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, can I make that any safer? I don't think I can. Um, let's do this just in case. All right, I'm down two turn. Like we've got to play to win, right? Down. Uh, down two turns. Uh, put you here. Down two turns. Uh, t I keep saying turns. Down two TDs. Got a score. Don't hurt your body. Um, Eat a healthy bread. <laughs> uh, we'll go here. I still don't think it gets us outside of interception range, so we'll go here instead. So let's uh, go ahead and go here. To pass. It's going to be a short pass. He's going to get his chance at an, at an interference here. 
get the ball. They need to make an interception. Oh, oh we got it. We, we got Something it. Let's go. score. No, that's the second rule. Let's see if we can get these rushes. I don't play the game there it is. Three to two, the score. Why am I positioning? Oh, right. I'm on defense. Uh, let's make sure everybody's still in the right spot. Good, good, good. Wind up says I'm definitely including two throwers. Yeah, I have two catchers on this human team. The problem is, you know, catchers are strength two, so that can be very, very weak. Um, but I like to have the option when I'm up against, say, like dwarves, throw two catchers down pitch. What are they going to do? <laughs> what are they going to do? Um, all I'm doing here is I'm checking SPP values to make sure everybody's where I want them to be. All right, one turn left in quarter number three here. The purebreds are going to be on offense yet again. SPP were declared. But yeah, it's not, I haven't been watching. When I've been on my turn, I've been focused on the game, so I haven't been seeing it. But thank you for the reminder. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think I have that down now. Uh, let's continue to make the... Well, no. You know what? He wants it in the thrower's hands. Let's go a little deep with it. In fact, let's let's put him they toward... the ball to the opponents. Toward now the trap door. Who's getting the reroll? Oh, it's not a reroll anymore. It's prayer sinuffle. One of your players without the learner trade available to try to stab. Oh, no. Oh, no. A scaven with a stab. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> hey, Fridge says this might have a chance to be our highest scoring league game if it isn't already. I actually, I think it is. I think three to two is our highest scoring game. I'll double check after the game. Who got stabbed? Two die block gets the pal here on the left side of the line. Oh, he gave it to the thrower. He gave it to that dirty thrower. SB Beaver says, of course Ava's going to score twice. I completely agree with you. What an astute observation you made. Thank you, SB Beaver. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Those players are very close. One minute left in turn 13. Final quarter of the game here. This is not the Chaos Cup week six. It is, in fact, the King of the Ring tournament because somebody forgot to change out the graphics. <laughs> Three plus pickups That's failed here. It's more difficult than Worked out due to the sure hand skills. Sure hand gives you a free reroll on failed pickups. Good short pass, good quick pass even, to the uh, the number three gutter runner. Got some SPP on that pass. That gutter runner is going to cage up mid pitch. SP Beaver says your ogre's been like laying on the ground a lot this game. Yeah, he's kind of adult. <laughs> Turn thirteen. All right. Stand up, Kason. Stand, stand up, Kason. All right, do I want to move, dodge you? Or do I want to leave you be? I think I want to leave you be. You know what I need to turn off? I need to turn off that stupid Cortana because Cortana keeps popping up. <laughs> Hank the Ridge says, no, I'm pretty sure this is Chaos Cup week six. That's what I'm seeing on the news. It's it's certainly chaotic. <laughs> um, do I want to dodge with you? Probably, I probably do. Um, and I probably want you to be here. Great. Greased balls would struggle to dodge through that defensive. Turn fourteen for the purebreds. Three turns left to try to increase their lead here. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with Blood Bowl 3 so far, other than, you know, the <laughs> the bugs. Lots and lots of bugs, which is unfortunate. Uh, again, I'm sure Cyanide will uh, sort those bugs out over time. 
Um, but again, uh, the new BB2020 rules, I think, are much, much needed. Um, as opposed to, you know, LRB6 had its problems. We all know what AG4 elves did in the LRB6. It was, it was a nightmare. Uh, wizards were really, really strong in the LRB6. Uh, so I think these are great changes. Uh, failed his, uh... Wow! No. I got no idea where these Did he... guys what the second? What's happening down there? You can't failed the rush. You? Succeeded on the loner no. roll there. Well done. A prone player is a uh, SP viewer asks, uh, how did they change wizards? Uh, wizard standard. So there's lots of wizards now, but the standard wizard, they replaced the lightning bolt with um, something called zap that changes you into a frog. So lightning bolt was really strong, right? Two plus, you take out basically whoever you want. Very, very strong skill. You don't have that anymore on the standard wizard. Now you change that player into a frog instead. And they actually turn into a frog piece. <laughs> it's pretty good for the uh, rest of the drive, I believe. Sneaks by the number four gutter runner, Chibata Hemophilia. Another good dodge. You, uh, for uh, AB4, or uh, not AG4, AG, uh, uh, AG2 plus. Man, that's going to mess me up too. <laughs> for AG2 plus, which used to be called AG4, um, you're almost, you're happy to take one dodge, right? Like two plus dodge, you're, you're happy. Well, he's taking three now, but <laughs> you're happy to take one dodge. Oh, try to get the ball on the sideline. Do we have a chance? Oh, boy. It got thrown back in to the thrower. If, if he survives this, it's going to be a miracle. Well done on the throw here. All right. Who are we going to... Who are we gonna blitz? Um, boy, that was our chance to tie the game. But the crowd was having none of it. Um, let's um. Want to see redo all that? Let's uh, let's stand you up. Let's um. Should take this block, but I don't want to take it with the ogre. Um, let's take this block first. Two die block. Boy. Look at the knockdown here. Um, we're gonna stay put. It looks like red stew on the menu tonight. And now, do we have somebody with the block skill who can do this? Um, let's move you. Pitch. We're gonna try to tie this ball game up. This doesn't work out. We haven't tied the ball game. We've we've done worse. But uh, let's um. It's gonna have to be the floor, I think. Um, and I probably want players to go down pitch. So let's move you. Uh, let's move you. Uh, let's move you here. All right, yeah, we're going to be taking our time on this one. Because um, we want to, we're playing to win, right? We're playing to win. Let's go. Um, um, I mean, they could show Two rushes. I don't want to take the rushes. It's going to have to be with the, it's going to have to be with the, um, Lineman. Um, let's put you here. Okay. Let's, um, let's put you here, I think. If we're going to do that, then you need to go, um, I'm going to put you, I'm going to put you here. Right, dip it into bonus time. Um, I'm going to put you here. 
Uh, we won't move the Blitzer just yet, but we're... Oh, okay. Blitz. Blitz you. Here we go. Two die Blitz. It's about to get punched above and... Uh, we're going to re-roll that. We want the, the knockdown here. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. Oh, no, we did. It's the thrower, so that'll work. Uh, let's push you here. Follow up. Let's see what happens. Oh, a neck injury on the thrower. They're going to be carrying that scar around for the rest of their show. All right. Well, um... Let's go here. Two rushes. Let's hope it's going to be okay. There it is. Um, he can stay here, I think. Uh, he can do the positive dodge out to get here. Let's see that. Um, we'll take it. They zapped, and they should have seen. All right, turn 15 for the purebreds. S'mores Dragon says, Oh, do you get one pot of bonus time for the whole game? You do indeed. You do indeed. You get seven minutes, 30 seconds for the whole game. Wind up says the new Norse have a positional called Beer Boar. It's a boar with a keg. That's amazing. <laughs> Wind up says frogs are the second best mini in Blood Bowl after the Beer Borg. Yeah, when I read when I first read the uh, the rules for the frog, I was like, "That's awesome! <laughs> that's awesome!" <laughs> you read the rules, and it's like, "Oh, you turn him into a frog. Okay, that's cool." And it's like, "No, he stays a frog. <laughs> he stays a frog. He has very long legs. He has leap. <laughs> it's awesome." Problem, <laughs> Bob. Clink, fly, and my coffee. Three good dot. Wow! What? Ow! Holy smokes! So near to the end. Uh, so many die rolls fell. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Please tell me you got that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna replay it after my turn. <laughs> wow. Holy moly. <laughs> A hundred thousand oh. dodges, a hundred thousand die oh rolls, got God, the pickup. GFI failed on the final GFI. 100% of the time. <laughs> GFIs fail. GFIs fail 900% of the time. 900% is accurate right now. He does have the block skill. I could dodge to take him out, but I don't think I want to. I think instead what I want to do. Let's move you. That's my thrower. Um, move you here. And uh, can I get around at all? <sighs> all right, here we go. Two die blitz. Two die blitz. The opponent has the block skill. We have one reroll remaining. We're gonna reroll it. We're gonna re. Oh, it's only gonna be a push. Um. We'll go here to follow up. All right, we need to we need to get this ball. Um, we need to get this ball somewhere safe. Let's put you here. All right, lots of dodges, but he still has. He can still pass. He can still do two dodges out this way. Um, we're just gonna have to shut down the dodges over here. So let's put the thrower. Uh, let's put the thrower here. Let's put the blitzer here. And then um, let's take this block before we take this dodge. Let's move you. Uh, let's move you. Oh, God, I got to be in scoring position. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's put you here. Um, I think the other catcher is... Oh, he's going to have to play some defense, unfortunately. I'll go here. Probably should have actually come out here, but we're going to see how this goes. Uh, 
We'll do this two die. Two die block here. There's only one word to say about Got the pal. We're gonna go here. We're gonna follow up. The armor. Got a stun. The player is effectively out for the rest of the game. Um, and then it's a positive dodge out this way too. So we're gonna need to go. We're gonna need to put him here. This guy's gonna get blocked, but I'm gonna have to trust trust in Nuffle that the die roll fails. Final turn of this game. What will they do? The purebreds. Trying to score here. Wind up says big dodges into a failed free handoff. I know. <laughs> One die block. It's going to be a both standing result. Sorry, it's two die block, both standing results. It's going to be a one die block if he takes it with the gutter. He can pull in another assist to make that a two die block, I guess, number five, but he wants to lead a gutter free yeah, to score. Sounds like a good old fashioned fight. This has been a really fun game. <laughs> I'm glad we have new Blood Bowl. Level three, despite its many, 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 many 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 bugs <laughs> i think it's going to be a good uh, a good addition here. takes the one die gets number 11 gets the push that play looked almost competent Nine seconds, but remember, it's unlike uh, VB2. It's not 25 seconds left in the in the turn. It's 25 seconds plus six minutes, 34 seconds. So Berserker Tempest here can take his time and consider exactly what his action order is going to be. Remember, in Blood Bowl, uh, in BB2020, in Blood Bowl 3 here, you can use a team reroll per die pool. It's not one team reroll a turn anymore. Takes the mark over here on the right side. Turn 16 now. Bye bye, human. Let's go. Let's take. Uh... Where's my thrower? Let's. Uh... There's really no way to do this other than the ogre. Two die block. We got the pal. Um, I'm going to follow up because the ball's not going to be there. Going to catch or run with a ball. Oh, they're constantly the ball's going to end in the hands of the number seven lineman. That's going to be the ball game. Three to two. Uh, oh no, it's not because I can still blitz. Um, we're going to blitz. I don't know how you're going to do that. We really need to blitz this way here. Um, but boy, that's a terrible dodge. Um, well, that's it. That's all you got. It's a six die. Six base die. All those die rolls. Look at all those die rolls. Well, I think we're going to have to just hope for a favorable scatter here. I'm looking. I'm looking. Here we go. One die blitz. Let's go. Oh, One die blitz. Ah, oh, it's going to be a push. Carrying the ball. All right, well, you know what? It is his journeyman. Um, uh, let's uh, let's do a let's do a for real block here. Let's do uh, you here. You can go here. We'll take a two die block here. Two die block gets the pow. I'll push him. Um, you can go here. I'm gonna follow up. He's now as free as a fork in a he butter store. <laughs> He's gonna be stunned. Uh, we'll take this two die block here. Got brown on the brown. 
Hit the knockdown. Uh, let's show sure, this follow. So Alright, still got a stun. Didn't get anything out of these blocks, but you know what? One assist versus three assists. Let's do it this way. Uh, let's go here. Let's take out the three SPP. The three SPP gutter runner. I mean, we have to, right? Oh, come on. Leave Pete alone. <laughs> here we go. Oh, we got to play this as a foul first, I think. Here we go. Three assists. Ah, oh, he's already stunned. All right. Uh, let's just take this dive lock here. Got the pal. Sure, let's follow up. Got an injury here. Oh wait, something's happening. All paid for that team. <laughs> the ball's gonna naturally. <laughs> the ball's gonna be in the hands of the gutter runner. <laughs> Take two nine block here to end this game. That's uh, gonna be a dodge push. <laughs> and that's the game. I'm a big fan of high score. GG's. That was, um, once it worked, it was fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Yeah, I look, I look forward to facing Forks. Yeah, we thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, GG's, man. Have a good night. GG's, man. You as well. See ya. All right, you can hear Berserker Tempest. Good sport. Uh, won this one three to two. What a game this was! This was such a fun game. <laughs> what, what a what a fantastic game here. Uh, let's see, Zentria. You know what? Zentria deserves MVP. MVP is different in Blood Bowl 2020 now as well. Uh, MVP used to be five. MVP MVP is now only worth four. And more importantly, you can't get MVP on a player that you can't take anymore. So you can no longer have a dead player as an uh, as an MVP. And you can no longer have a star player as an MVP or, or, or a, a Merc or something like that. So, oh man, so fun. SPP for tonight, if the game wants to show us. Look at all that sweet, sweet SPP. <laughs> 18 SPP for Bye Bye Human, 17 for the Purebreds. Ah, oh, super fun game. That was, oh, how much money did we get? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> oh, and money's different too. Uh, you get money based on the total amount of fans that come to the game, uh, as opposed to your own your own fans plus the die roll. <laughs> so, uh, super fun game. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, at the ladder as it stands now. As you can see, wow, that went super fast. <laughs> as you can see, the purebreds have moved up into second place. Their next challenge will be uh, will be heirs to the empire. They're gonna try to take the top spot here in King of the Ring. There's still plenty of time left in our regular season, season two. Um, in fact, why don't we look at that schedule before we go? Let's go so fast that the transition <laughs> moves faster than the screen transitions. <laughs> the final game in week six here in the Chaos Cup is going to be tomorrow night. That's Thursday, February 23rd at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's UTC minus five. That's going to be the Themyscira Turbigans versus Donkey Teeth, Merrick versus Dead Fred, Amazon versus Wood Elves. That's tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, and that will close out week number six in the Chaos Cup. Um, after that game gets played, week seven will begin. Coaches will be uh, will start to schedule their week seven games. Final week of regular play in the Chaos Cup. But the Chaos Cup is the very first competition in the season. There's plenty of more action to come. When those games get scheduled, you'll be able to check it out and get alerted to the schedules on our website at mammal.club. That's M-A-M-L dot C-L-U-B. Here on Twitch or on our social media, uh, social media pages at uh, Twitter, Mastodon, and Facebook. You can listen to our podcast, Mammal Talk, where we go over all the new rules of Blood Bowl 3 and the new uh, the 12 teams that are in Blood Bowl 3. 
and you can watch our previous games over on our YouTube channel. Play Blood Bowl, what a fun game this is. Where else can you be hollow live beating up on, <laughs> on rats and vice versa? <laughs> you can play Blood Bowl via Blood Bowl 2 on Steam. You can now play it on Blood Bowl 3 on Steam and in tabletop form at your friendly local game store. Until tomorrow night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Take care, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your Wednesday.